Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Yankees fans, we all remember a week ago Aaron Judge's comments about Manny Machado. Somebody quoted him as saying that he thought Manny Machado would look good in pinstripes. Well, fast forward, you still have fans of other teams hounding Aaron Judge for this silly ridiculous comment to be honest the MLB blew it out of proportion and like I said you targeted one of your most marketable players so today on Twitter I saw the most ridiculous video ever it was a radio show or podcast from Boston Red Sox fans they said hey they were making a joke but it just proves what I've been saying how other teams are just going to take this and just throw Aaron Judge with it. It's okay because players on a professional level or players in general, when you play sports and have people in the stands, you're going to get hounded. You're going to have insults thrown at you. But Aaron Judge does not deserve this sort of, let's say, attacks upon him and his character. Because Aaron Judge, like I said, is a class act. So folks, what I'm trying to say here is I'm pretty sure Aaron Judge has heard it all playing right field. But when he's attacked in, let's say, this sort of manner where Major League Baseball initiated it. So yet again, you have to scratch your head and say, oh my God, what was Major League Baseball thinking when they put this out? It was a silly comment. They blew it out of proportion. If anything, if Aaron Judge is the player we know he is, he's just going to take that now and belts another 50 plus home runs and maybe even improve on other aspects like his strikeouts, etc. Just boost up his game. But like I said, people, if you run a platform and one of your best workers is bringing in money for you and then out of nowhere, you give them negative PR or negative press or something negative where people are pointing their fingers at him or her. Because they're obviously jealous. Let's not sugarcoat that. You gave other people an excuse to go after somebody they didn't need to go after. Understand what I'm saying? Somebody who does the right thing, but yet you gave other people ammo to go after that person. See how that looks? So I'm going to play this ridiculous video. And I'm going to play it in a fashion where I'm scrolling through Twitter because if I do post it on here, it probably will get flanked. Because something that I notice, I don't care what you guys' political ideologies are. I don't care if you're a conservative, a liberal, whatever you consider yourself. But there's a lot of platforms. I'm, I'm not going to say a lot. There's specific people in sports teams, franchises that represent them in the most ridiculous, pathetic ways where, let's say, if you have little children, you wouldn't recommend your children follow those people because they're just that bad of an influence. You understand what I'm saying? So these people making fun of Judge are the same people that are just projecting their insanity upon Judge, cursing, saying the most ridiculous things like this guy saying that he tagged NYPD and the FBI to investigate judge. I know it's a joke, but it just shows the mental illness of some of these fans. And there's one guy in particular in the Yankee circle that is the same way. And I recommend if you guys have children to tell them to unfollow people like that because they're, they are bad influences. And I never understood that being a baseball fan in general, because I remember back in the day, me and my sister, when I was about 10 or 9 or whatever, she used to take me to the bleachers back in the old stadium. And I used to see, you could just say I grew up quick watching games in the bleachers. Literally, it was like going to a Jerry Springer show in real life. So, but when you grow up, you start to realize that those people were losers and they had too much time on their hands. So, those types of fans that represent Sports franchises, they're, they're just a bad influence. I never understood that aspect of acting like a loon, like a embarrassment, a buffoon, a drunk. Literally, they're drunks. So 
yeah, these are the types of people that want to attack Aaron Judge for some apparent reason. Uh, Red Sox fans, and I'm pretty sure other fans of other sports teams are going to latch on to this. But like I said, Aaron Judge just built to like two home runs in last spring training's game. So Aaron Judge is tough like that. But it just pains me to see somebody like Aaron Judge and his character be attacked in this sort of fashion. So check out this video. This is all Major League Baseball's fault. People still making a big deal out of this innocent comment. It's ridiculous. I blame Major League Baseball, whoever put that out, that they disciplined uh, Aaron Judge, whoever leaked it out. I think they should be disciplined. You targeted one of your most marketable players for no reason. For no reason. Now you have all these insane people making a dumb joke out of it in most ridiculous ways. Check this out. Doing. Aaron Judge, what the fuck does this guy think he's doing? Yep. Tampering with Manny Machado. Aaron Judge has basically made it known that the New York Yankees are not a good enough baseball team. I had to send out a tweet, tag the FBI and the New York Police Department counter-terrorist unit in order to get Major League Baseball to send a statement to Aaron Judge to stop his actions, therefore keeping Manny Machado in Baltimore. And the fact that police haven't been involved yet is insane. It is insane. What's next? You can just murder people and just walk away from the scene of the crime. I can leave some DNA at the scene and I'm just not going to get arrested for that. What's next? The crazy thing to me is Aaron Aaron Judge tampered more than anyone I've ever seen tamper Yeah, with this line to Machado. Yep. And what Rob Manfred needs to do is have a backbone, have any little slight piece of integrity, right? and suspend this guy for the entire season. At least. At least 2018. Do you think 2019? Maybe 2019, too. 